Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be customizing Ubuntu Desktop. The title of this video, Ubuntu 04 Desktop Customization, The Complete Beginner Guide. So if you have never customized the desktop or you want to change the look of Ubuntu, this is the right video. Stay tuned and please, if you like the video, like. If you want to see more videos, subscribe and I'll see you soon. Enjoy the video. Okay, the first thing you need to do when you want to customize desktop is to go to Ubuntu software. Click on this search icon and type tweaks or just tweaks so it makes it a little bit faster. I have already installed it, but if you haven't, you can see it right here. I already installed. So this is the first thing you need to install. The second thing you need to install is Genome Shell. Um, so we have already installed Twig Tools. We need to open it. Press Windows key and type WTW and it should show up and then just hit enter. Okay, in Twig Tools, you need to go for extension and you will see we have only three extensions. We need two more extensions. We need Dash to Panel and we need Arc Mania. Okay, let's head to, let's close out of this. Let's hit to Chrome. And then when we are in Chrome, we need to look for Dash to Panel. Just, just this one. And you need to look for extension.genome.org. So just click on this, and then we need to add it. Click install, continue, add, and then you will see this foot pop right here. Click on it. Okay. The first thing you you need to do is basically when you install extension and you go to here and if you find like uh, an error message saying nom shell yada yada what you need to do you need to install this package let me zoom back this package if you want to see full detail how i did that please watch my previous video i'm gonna link it in the description or you can just stay here and just refresh it doesn't matter it's the same thing so it just wants one window okay Okay, so you can just install dash to panel, then install it. Okay, as you can see, as soon as I install it, it changed these uh, looks from two menus to a single menu down here, like windows. Second extension I, I need to look for is called Arc Menu. Arc Menu, and you can see I just type Arc and M, and it showed up. So this Arc Menu. Or install okay after I install Arc Mini you see see this A pop right here. Okay now we can just close out of this and then you can see now you have Windows like kind of menu. Okay what we can do better than this first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to tweaks Appearance, we're gonna change the template. I'm gonna just go to a darker one, maybe this one. And then I will go to extension, I will go to arc menu. We will imp I will change the icon on the, let's bring this one here so, so it's focus. Okay, so you go to, to appearance, then arc menu, then change the icon, I'll change it to this, and then I'll just increase it to maybe 30. Sounds, sounds okay to me. I usually go to 32, but that's fine. Close out of this. And then I will close this. I will go to dash to panel. I'll just uh, make it transparent by uh, enabling the reducing the opacity. Okay, that's good. Okay, we're making progress right now. We can now just change this desktop image by change background. And basically, choose one of your favorite pictures. I used this one in my previous video, so this time I will change it to something different. Let's change this one. See how it looks. Looks okay, but it's mostly out of focus. I'll be using my own wallpaper, but for now, let's just tolerate anyone other than the, the cougar or the cat. All right, so now we changed the theme. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually pause the video and then look for the link and download them. Welcome back. A new theme you can download off the internet and install it. But for time being, I choose this one. I may install it later. But here is the theme that I usually use. I, I like this Arc X Arc collection. Uh, if you go to files, you will see this this folder I already downloaded. If you, let me go to download. 
Okay, I already downloaded a few files I'll show you later. Because I already downloaded this and they download this uh, Capitan or La Capitan. It's, it's basically an icon theme. We will change how, how the icon look like. Uh, they look um, more or less like uh, Mac. Uh, basically we changed the, the cursor and it's slowed similar to Mac uh, yeah but it's just something that you can say there if you don't like this you can always change it I'm just showing you the possibilities you know what you can do also you can download them from you know github and you can see that they are basically uh, relatively updated frequently so like about 17 days since the update okay and uh, this is arc darker theme and there are other uh, themes that you can visit them on github or, but for the time being you just use uh, uh, genomelook.org this website right here and and this starts by showing you how to to install since so this is uh, for beginners not for advanced i'm not gonna use github or git or anything what i will do i will just show you after you download the files and they are on your download folder you need to extract them this is simple task you can do i'm gonna start by xr collections this one's right here This should include like four themes usually if that hasn't changed okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just uh, open another window so you can see what I am doing Open another window for this I'm gonna put them align them uh, one on the left and one on the right like this and the other one I'm gonna align it to the left you don't know how I did that, so I'm gonna just show you with the mouse and okay how I did that basically I use just shortcuts and keyboard you can just drag it to the left or right and then drag this one to the left okay uh, basically here is the home directory and here is download folder in the home directory what I need to do I need to to go to this right here this uh, burger icon this burger icon i need to show hidden files i'm gonna show you a bunch of gibberish we don't we don't care about that what i will do i will i will create a folder here i'm gonna start it with that anything starts with that it's hidden by default i'm gonna call this themes and this is has to be exact create folder called dot themes and then I'm gonna create another folder called dot icons icons just like this then create okay so let's start with opening the theme folder we are now at dot theme folder so we need to we need to extract this this I'm gonna extract it here I extracted the XR collection on this folder right here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just highlight everything and just either cut with control X and then paste here or just drag them like this see I dragged them to the theme folder next I will go back to the home directory and I'm gonna open icons I'll go back to the download folder and they will go to Capitan Icon Theme. They will do the same thing. Extract here. Now what I will do, I will just basically open it and then see it has a long name. I don't like this. I'll just make it a little bit shorter. I'm gonna leave it as Capitan icon 
That's it. Or just copy ten T just icons like that. Short and nice. Then drag it to that icon folder at your home directory and let's go. Okay. Now while we're here, we need to go back to download folder and go to Capitan Cursor icon. Okay. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing, extract here, then open it. I do the same thing. I will basically just shorten the name a little bit. Okay, this is Capitan Cursor. Okay. And I do the same thing, just drag and drop in the icon folder. Okay. And now let's just close out of here. Okay, close it. Then we need to go to Tweak Tools and we need to change some stuff. First thing we need to go to is Appearance. In the Appearance, you will see new themes. If you don't, that's basically this Tweak Tool was already open. You just close it and reopen it. Okay, so now what you do, go to Appearance and go to Themes and then here you will see the new themes that we installed. We install XArc Darker Plus and I will show all four of them. Let's start for the first one. As we can change the cursor, change it to Captain Cursor and then we can change icon to Captain Icon, which one is which. As you can see we changed the icon. Now the icon has changed. Okay. And we can even change the shell icon. See user theme is not here. So what we need to do, we need to go to to new window and just click on extensions. Then we need to look for user theme. We need to search for user theme. Okay. And then just install it from here. Okay, now we need to close Tweak Tools and reopen it. You can see the cursor has changed. Go to Appearance, and then we need to go to Shell Theme. Then we can choose the one that we like. You can see it gives you a different kind of style. Even this icon has changed. So my personal favorite is Shadow. This one, so I really like. I'm gonna change even the shell theme to shadow. Okay, now we can do something else. Let's see now how we can customize this. Uh, so you have them on the right, you can change them to the left, like Mac, if you, have, you prefer Mac. It's a little buggy. Okay, so. Let's change this one even to a Mac kind of look, if you like Mac, okay? First thing you need to do, you need to, to download an extension called Dash to Dock, okay? Think Dash to Dock. Okay, yeah, this is the extension. If you, if you like my Mac look, see? I'm gonna install it. Okay, so I'm gonna close out of here. I'm gonna reopen as you can see, it's already done something to... I'm gonna go to extension, then go to dash to dock. I'm gonna first turn off the this dash to panel. Dash to panel, turn off, okay? Then we're gonna go to dash to dock. I'm gonna change it. Dash to dock, I'm gonna just change it to the bottom. Okay, now it's kind of look like a Mac style. Okay, so... Uh, it just even change the icons. Let me just change a different shell theme so it looks uh, more, more or less like Mac. Just go to extensions, dash to dock. I think it should have. You can increase the icon if you want. Sixty four, forty eight is fine. 
appearance, opacity, 80%. That's basically eighty percent is fine for this fix. Dynamic. Just leave it as fix so you can see what it is. Okay. And there are some other extensions if you want them. If you have or they will, you know, done it in the past. I made it look exactly like Mac. This is just something that you can do. Let me just change the, the background. All right. If you like this look, by all means. But for me, I'm gonna just uh, return it back to the way I think most people will like it. Uh, because most people that they come to Linux, they are coming from a Windows background. People on Mac, they tend to stay on Mac. Because Mac is a Unix-based system as well. But it just uh, has the overpriced tag to it. you get the idea hope you like this video if you like it press that like button if you don't you know what to do and uh, see you in the next video have a good day bye